Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Gentech PC product showcase. In today's full length featured review, we'll be going over the new MSI GE76 Raider. This newest iteration of the Raider now comes equipped with the NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti and the Intel Core i9-12900HK. This is the larger 17 inch version of the MSI GE66 Raider, so you get a larger screen and oftentimes we find in the larger laptops we also have better cooling. So we'll go ahead and get things started with our unboxing. As you can see it does come double boxed. Both the interior and outside boxes are mostly just brown cardboard. But the double boxing does keep it protected during shipping. And the low profile look means that it doesn't draw much attention if it's sitting at your doorstep for a delivery. Getting the box open we can see that we have generous foam inserts that keep the laptop from getting crushed or any kind of shock damage, and then the plastic on top of that, which prevents it from getting scratched, and any kind of moisture resistance in case the box happens to get wet. So here's a first look at the GE76, and we'll set that aside and finish unboxing. So as you can see, it won't take too long to unbox this laptop. There's not a whole lot included. It's mostly just a laptop and its power supply. So our last box here is going to have our power supply. And as usual, also broken into two pieces, we'll have the main power brick and the adapter cable, which will be specific to the region of which you order it for. So here is the power brick and let's get a close up so we can see the wattage that this is delivering. And this is coming in with a pretty beefy 330 watt power supply. And our last thing in the box is just going to be our product pamphlets and quick start guide. So let's talk about size and weight. The laptop on its own comes in at six pounds and 11 ounces. And once you throw in the power adapter, your total carry weight is at nine pounds and three ounces. With the laptop now powered up, a broad overview, starting in the bottom right hand corner, we have one of the product badges, a few overview items such as the thermal liquid pad for the CPU and the 99.9 .9 watt hour battery. Our keyboard is brought to us by Steel Series, so it's a branded keyboard with per key RGB backlighting. We have the NVIDIA and Intel badges on the left. A fairly good sized touchpad with integrated left and right clicks built into it. The screen is very bright and very nice, and up above it we have a built-in integrated HD webcam and microphone. The GE76 being targeted as a gaming laptop does have an abundance of RGB lighting, so we have the LED lighting in the front as well. And we'll get started with our interfaces for connectivity. On the left hand side we have a USB 3.2 Type-A port, a USB 4 Type-C port, and a 3.5mm combo port for a headset, microphone, or headphones. Now moving over to the back of the laptop from left to right, we have a mini display port connection, a Thunderbolt 4 port, RJ45 for local network connectivity, HDMI 2.1, and our power port for charging and running off of mains power. As you can see already, this laptop has all of the newest connectivity interfaces and abilities for display output. And finally, on the left hand side, we have two USB 3.2 ports, Type A, and a card reader. So here's one final look at the laptop from the outside both with the lid in the open position and closed, just to get a look at how the laptop feels, how the hinge closes, and then we're gonna move on in the next part of our review and go into the operating system and start looking at our hardware and performance benchmarks. All right, a closer look at Device Manager and Windows to look at the hardware. You can see we have killer for both wired and wireless connectivity. 
the Core i9 12900HK, and of course the NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti. Here's the monitor panel ID if you'd like to look that up for more information. And currently it's configured for a 4K resolution 3840 by 2160 at 120 hertz. For more detail on the GPU and CPU, here is GPU-Z to look at the NVIDIA RTX 3080. And here is the CPU-Z information on the Core i9-12900HK. We're about to move into our benchmarking section next, so we want to look at our temperatures right now while the system is at idle to see how the system is holding up. We can see the CPU has anywhere from 60 to 50 degrees Celsius, depending on which core it is. And our GPU right now is currently at 53 degrees max. It's worth noting that MSI includes some software called the MSI Center, where you can look at all of the current system parameters, make some basic changes such as your fans, and you can go in here and actually do OS level overclocking. Here's a look at the system using our thermal camera, just taking a look at that idle state. We can see that near the back of the laptop, that's where all the heat's being produced and the palm areas are nice and cool. Our hot spots on the intake and exhaust. And even at the idle state, it's doing a pretty good job of blowing air out of the system for cooling. And a decibel meter here to get a feel for how loud the fans are. And of course, watching a few other reviews from us gives you some information so you can compare it to other systems to see if it's louder or quieter. It's now time to put the system under load, so we'll start off with 3D Mark Firestrike, which is our standard performance benchmark. And while that's running, we'll go back and look at some of those baselines. So here's the thermal camera. And we'll also go back and take a look at our fan noises, not the fans are up to speed to cool down the system.
3D Mark Fire Strike has finished and we've got a grand total score of 26,033. And let's go back and look at our system temperatures. And the CPU is kind of all over the place. The highest being 100 degrees Celsius with most cores in the 80s. So some cores are definitely working harder than others. As we scroll down a little bit lower and look at the GPU temperatures. The maximum temperature recorded for the GPU was at 72.1 degrees Celsius. Our next performance benchmark to be ran is Cinebench R23, and we have that underway now. And it came back with a total score of 15,807. And down below, we can see where it decided to place it on the charts. And with Cinebench done, that's also gonna wrap up our performance benchmark section, and we'll move on to the next. Now reaching our final segment for the review, which is going to be the system disassembly. You can see there are many screws to remove to get it taken apart, but they are all the same size, so that makes it a little bit easier to put it back together. Lots of ventilation on the bottom panel, and here's a first look of what's inside. Moving over to the center right hand side, we're going to find our wireless module. This is going to be for the wireless connectivity and Bluetooth. Down below in the center, we have our 99.9 .9 watt hour battery, which is the largest battery they can put in the laptop. Speakers flanking the left and right sides. Just above the battery, we have two M2 SSD slots. One is currently occupied and the other is vacant, leaving you an opportunity to add more storage. And over to the right from there is where we're gonna have a plate covering the system RAM. It is pre-configured with 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM already, so it's fairly well loaded and it has Samsung modules. And the last thing for us to access is to take apart the cooling solution so we can see how that's put together. So here we are with all of the parts from earlier now removed from the system board. And up above, we have the entire cooling solution. Looking at how it was set up underneath, we can see that they used thermal paste instead of thermal pads, which is really good. And they did use the liquid metal TIM for the CPU. Traditional paste over for the GPU. And here's what the system board looks like with everything removed. We can see the remnants of the thermal paste on everything and the difference where the liquid metal pad was used. And so now with our disassembly complete, we are also gonna be coming to the completion of our review. We hope everyone enjoyed the video and found it both entertaining and educational. So if you're interested in the GE76 Raider, check out the video description and you'll find the product page link. And there you can find the full product specifications and the current pricing and availability. If you had any questions that the video wasn't able to answer for you and you'd like to ask those questions down in the comment section, we can answer them for you and everybody else. But don't forget, we also have phone and email support so you can contact us for one-on-one -on -one support with any personalized questions. So once again, we just want to remind you, this was Gentech PC and we'll see you next time.